if you want to discover a crypto project that is taking on the giants like AWS and Google Cloud, then you're in for a treat. Today we're diving into Aleps.im, a fascinating token that powers a decentralized network designed to help decentralized applications go fully decentralized. It's all about real solutions to make blockchain more robust and scalable. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and I've been specializing in new technologies, cryptos, stocks and divergence trading strategies for the last 10 years. Today I am going to walk you through what Alep is all about, why it's being called the decentralized AWS, and then we'll take a look at some surprising price trends you'll definitely want to see. Remember that understanding the fundamentals of any cryptos or even stocks is really crucial for smart investment decisions, so I'll try to keep things simple and easy to follow. And if you like my video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my content for regular updates. All right, let's jump right in. OK, let's learn about Aleph. Imagine all the applications and websites that you use that rely on cloud services like AWS or Firebase. These are centralized platforms that store your data, process computations, and keep things running. Alep flips this on his head by providing a decentralized version of these services. This means that developers can build decentralized applications or dApps that do not rely on one single point of failure. Instead of AWS, they can use Aleps.im for file storage, databases, virtual machines, and even things like NFT metadata and document certification. The idea here is to remove centralized bottlenecks and really make applications truly independent, secure and scalable. What's cool is that Aleph isn't stuck on one blockchain. It's a cross-chain solution and it's compatible with networks like Ethereum, Polkadot and Cosmos. This makes it easier for developers on these platforms to plug into Aleph and decentralize their storage, computation and data handling. Think of Aleph basically as the missing puzzle piece for fully decentralized architecture. Oh, and there is one more thing. Aleph isn't just for developers. Businesses can use it for things like managing documents, hosting websites, or even streamlining identity verification processes. So now before we get into the details of the price trends, let's talk about some general numbers for Aleph. As of today, Aleph has a market cap of about $40 million, definitely on the low side, which means it's still a growing opportunity. There are about 247 million tokens in circulation and the typical hold time is about 18 days, which shows some investor confidence in the short term. Its all-time high was about 85 cents, but right now the price is 16 cents. So if Aleph were to return to that all-time high, we would be talking of a potential growth of about five times its current value. All right, it's time to look at the price trends now. So here I'm going to start with a weekly candle chart for Alep because it gives me the big picture. It's like zooming out to see the whole story of the crypto. It's fingerprint. I can spot patterns, see how it performed during market rallies and notice when it failed to hold its ground. Looking at Alep's performance in early 2024, something really stands out for me. During that mini rally earlier this year, we saw the price surge in February 2024 hit a resistance level and then dropped. Then it tried again in May 2024, but failed to break the same resistance level. 
This is what we call an M pattern or a double top. And it's a pretty big deal because it signals a bearish trend. The first top that you see, the first part of the M, happens when traders and investors push the price up to a key level that we call a resistance level. Then after that, the market retreats. But then it wants to challenge that level again. And this is the second part of the M, the second top. But when it fails to break through that second time, it's like the market is saying, that's it, we're done here. And then the price starts to crash for good. The pattern was backed also by another very strong indicator, a bearish reversal divergence. When you look at the price charts, you see the top are trending downward slightly. But then when you look at the MACD line, you notice that the dropping is much sharper than it is on the price line. This mismatch between the price and the MACD line is what we call a divergence. So when you have both an M pattern and a bearish divergence, it's a double confirmation that the price is heading south for real. So next, I want to try to calculate the price target for this divergence, just to see if the target hit. So for this, I'm going to take the two tops of that divergence of that pattern, and I'm going to focus on the MACD line and on the second one of the two tops. Here, I'm going to trace a horizontal line to really mark the level of that second top. And I want to see what, where that level intersects with the MACD line before the first stop of this divergence. The goal is that it will give us a price indication of what that level is evaluated at outside of the context of the divergence. And here we have a price target for about 7 cents. Looking at what actually happened, the price dropped significantly from 45 cents to about 10 cents. While it didn't quite hit 7 cents, that's close enough to call the divergence fully materialized. After the crash, the price stabilized and started moving sideways for a little bit, which is typical after a big drop. If you've seen my previous video on Aleph, You'll remember I predicted the second leg of the M pattern. That's what these little marks are in the screen right now. Now that we've analyzed this weekly chart, let's zoom in for more details. To understand the short term movements, we'll need to look at the daily candle chart. This will help us spot the micro trends, the ups and downs that are critical for calculating near term price targets. And here's where it gets exciting. With the market officially entering a new bull run, understanding these daily movements is crucial. Alep is likely to follow the overall market trend, so identifying these micro patterns can give us a clearer idea of where the price might be headed in the near term. All right, so let's take a closer look at my screen. What I have here is the daily candle chart, and it's so interesting because we can spot something new about that reversal bearish divergence that we saw earlier on the weekly candle chart. Do you remember the one we saw during the double top, the two peaks of the M pattern? Well, here's what's really cool. When we zoom into the daily candle chart, that same divergence transforms into a hidden bearish divergence. A hidden bearish divergence is still a bearish signal, but it tells a slightly different story. On the daily chart, we can see that while the top were trending down slightly on the price, the MACD line was trending upward. This type of divergence typically indicates a continuation of the bearish movement, which is exactly what happened. If we calculated this divergence here, we'd likely land on the same price target we saw with the weekly divergence. It's a neat little detail that shows how patterns can appear differently on different timeframes. But let's not get stuck on the bearish signals, because this isn't the reason why I brought us to the daily chart. What I really want to spot here is anything new in the chart that we couldn't see in the weekly candle chart, and potentially a bullish signal now. In this section of the chart, we see a reversal bullish divergence, which is super exciting. What it's telling us is that even though the price has been declining since May 2024, the momentum has been quietly building for a potential reversal. 
This is a classic setup for price recovery. Now here's how we're going to calculate the target for this bullish divergence. Instead of focusing on the tops as we did for the bearish signal earlier, we will focus on the lows because it's a bullish divergence. We will trace a line from the second low on the divergence on the MACD line and look for where it intersects with the MACD line before the first low, which would be outside of the context of this divergence. This method is giving us a price target of about 40 cents and the chart suggests this could happen before May 2025. That's over two and a half times the current price. Here is something that I want you to note though. This target of 40 cents lines up closely with the second top of the previous mini rally. And that means the price will likely challenge that same resistance level for a third time. And given the current momentum in the general market in the new bull run, I wouldn't be surprised if it breaks through this time. The setup here is looking very promising and of course we'll need to keep an eye on the overall market trends to see if this momentum carries Aleph past that resistance line. Okay guys, that's all that I have for now. So I want you to remember that this is crypto and you always need to be extra cautious when we talk about crypto. Even what I say, don't take it as facts. Always do your own research. I can make mistakes. And my trading strategies are never guaranteed. So always also have a great risk management plan. You're welcome to comment if you see something I've missed or if you disagree or if you agree with my predictions. Your feedback is always welcome. Let me know also if you want me to dive into a specific crypto for you. I'll be happy to do so. If you find this video helpful, like, share and subscribe to get regular updates. Until next time, keep an eye on the trends, stay curious and let's navigate these crypto waves together.